Hello and welcome back to a how-to series for N4 EAM by Digital Thinker. I'm your host, Stanton Bost, and in today's awesome segment of Help Me Get More from My EAM, we'll be discussing the latest mobile app from N4. Wait, N4 has a mobile app? Yeah, of course they do. Everything's on an app these days. The apps for Android, Apple, and Windows devices, as small as a cell phone, all the way up to large tablets. Well, is the app any good? Yeah, of course it's pretty good if you like saving time and making life easier when it comes to using EAM. But what if I don't have Wi-Fi everywhere in my plant? Hey, there's an app for that too. We have connected and disconnected. The mobile app's an awesome tool for managing work orders when you aren't always at a desk. We all know we can only get out of EAM what we put into EAM. We're finding it's easier to capture important data from end users when we make it easier for the end user to put it in EAM. That's where the app comes in. It has streamlined the work order process flow and simplified training for end users. Over the next few minutes, we're going to cover how to configure the application for mobile, how to set up users, and finally how to download and set up the app on a mobile device. So let's get started by discussing the main differences between the two apps, N4 EAM Connected and N4 EAM Disconnected. All right, now we're on an iPad here and we're looking at the two different apps. If you notice the top two apps in the left here, we have Mobile Connected, we have Mobile Disconnected. Now these are our two N4 EAM mobile apps. Connected is designed to work with an internet connection. The disconnected, obviously, designed to work without an internet connection. Now, when you're on the connected app, as you update work orders, maybe add comments, book labors, issue parts, that sort of thing, it happens immediately in the application itself. In the disconnected app, you download and sync your work orders to the device. You go out and work off of, offline, we'll call it. Then you can come back into Wi-Fi or internet service range, you can reconnect and sync up and it will update all the work orders that you are working on offline. So don't worry, if you don't have a great internet connection everywhere you're going to be working, we've got the disconnected app that will cover you in those situations. Alright, now let's go into EAM and let's get the business side of that out of the way before we get to the cool stuff with the actual iPad here. All right, for the first part, we're going to log in to the application. This is going to have to be done by someone who has administrative rights so that they'll have these menu items. We're going to begin by going to the administration menu. We're going to go to security. We're going to go to install parameters. On install parameters, I'm going to search for mobile. When I search for mobile, there I have the 7i MCD key. This is our mobile CD key. This is where we put in the CD key from N4 that will unlock the mobile, if you will. If you do not have a CD key in this field and you don't know what your mobile CD key is, you can contact us and we can help you figure that out. If you are given a CD key from N4 and you just need to get your environment set up, this is where you come and you put that mobile CD key in this field where it says value here. After you do that you hit the save button and then you're ready to set up some users. Now once you have your install parameters set up with your CD key you need to give your users access to the mobile. The way we do that is go to administration security user setup. On our user setup we need to scroll down and look for mobile and make sure the mobile is checked. Okay. Now, with mobile licenses, you can have a mobile user that may not be able to log into a computer. If that's the case, you would have N4 EAM not checked, but mobile checked, and that would let you know that this user is only a mobile user. Now, we have mobile administrator checkbox right here. And what that does is it allows the user to have administrative rights in mobile. Mobile has its own screen designer. You can change things around with screen designer. 
and do those administrative actions and that's what that checkbox is for there. All right. So when you're setting up your users, the ones who will be mobile, you need to check the mobile checkbox. Now, in a side note, with M4EAM, if your user will also have an employee record, which is important in mobile for them to be able to see work orders that are assigned to them, you need to create the user with the M4EAM checkbox checked and the mobile checkbox checked. Go to Work, Setup, Employees, find their employee record and make sure the associated user field has their username in it. Then you need to go back to security user setup and this is if they're only going to be a mobile user. Then you can uncheck N4 EAM. If you uncheck N4 EAM and hit save, then now their username and their employee record are tied together, but they'll only be allowed to log in on mobile. All right, once you get your users set up, then we can go to the app and download the app on our tablet and get going there. Okay, once you find the N4 EAM connected. For this video, I'm going to use connected as my example. You can download it and let it install, and then you can choose open. When you choose open, it's going to take you to this screen. Enterprise Asset Management, it has a field for your username and password. The first thing you need to do before you can log in is we need to tell this what environment to look at. You're going to hit the setup button. Let me back up there. You're going to hit the setup button down under login. When you hit that, it's important to put your organization in the first field. Put your connection ID in the second field. That's going to be your tenant. So at the end of your login, if you have a tenant there, you'll see tenant and it could be prod or dev or training, TRN if you're in training and then your server address. Okay, That's going to be the first portion of your address in your uh, explorer bar of your browser when you're logging into the computer. Now if you need help figuring out these fields here and getting it set up, feel free to give us a call, shoot us an email, text message, smoke signals, however you want to get a hold of us and we will help you get this set up. Alright, once we've got this, I'm going to hit done. Now, it's going to take me back to the login screen. So here, I'm going to log in with my username. And password. And hit login. Then it's going to open up our application here. Now, once we're logged in, you can see it takes me to the work order screen here. And I've got a list of work orders down the left side of the screen and then the record view of the work order over on the right side of the screen. Alright, now you're logged in. A couple of things, I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail on this video because then it'll be a longer video, probably bore you to death. So I'm going to create another video on navigating around the connected app. I'll also create another video on disconnected so that those of you that need the disconnected app, I'll show you the differences and how that's set up and you sync and download everything. But just to show you, show you around this, on the top left corner of the screen here, you'll see three little lines. These are your menu here. And you have work order equipment, work request, asset and physical inventories, hours work, checklist, bread clumps, and settings. On settings, you can sync data there under the start FaceTime button, the third one down. Sync data is important. If you ever think that you're not seeing the correct data set here, just hit sync data and it'll refresh everything for you. And then when you are on a work order or piece of equipment, on the right side of the screen, you'll see three little lines there. 
these are going to display the menu of your tabs in EAM. So you've got activities, comments, book labor, parts, and so forth. The closed work order tab is down there, and then of course checklists. So definitely look for more videos on mobile connected and disconnected because we need to go over checklist and how awesome that is on mobile and just work order management in general. As always, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you've stuck it out the 10 minutes and learned a little bit about N4 EAM mobile and how to get it set up in the application. Uh, if you like the video, please like it, share it, and subscribe to our channels and let us know if you have any questions about mobile if there's anything we can do to help you with EAM in general and please if you have any videos you'd like to see or tutorials on anything don't hesitate to let us know and we'll get those done for you thanks and have a great day